How do I look? Almost done. What's missing? The dress. You're late. Okay, check the attitude, flower girl. I had to make an adjustment. Worry not, this dress is pure refinement, and once donned, <laughs> you will finally, finally be marriageable. <sighs> Sabrina can't get married yet. She still needs something blue. Wait, where's Ellie with that bracelet? Rings? Jack. Carlos. No sign. A birdseed. Felix. Oh, I'm gonna check on that just to make okay, sure. Hey, hey, you not... just need to calm down. You keep this up, you're gonna sweat through your tux, and don't you wanna look nice when your dad and Bobby show up? Yeah, shouldn't they be here by now? I told you your dad's taking a late flight. He's cutting it close, but Bobby should be here any minute. She just wanted to drop in on her brother first. So I put Duke and Obrecht on a launch, and this squad car to pick him up at the other end. Did she give you any trouble? No. She... she was very well behaved. A little too much for my liking, but I told Duke not to turn his back. Did Obrecht give you any idea where Faison might be? If he's told her his escape plans, she's not saying. Anna, he's not going to leave this island without you. You guys have got to get out of here. Yeah, we should. No, I'm not going anywhere. But we're safe. And, and you can get to the wedding. But Mom, Nicholas risked his life for me. I am not going anywhere until I know he's okay. I got it! I got Jerry's cure. Which, I guess, is now moot. Uh, Commissioner, when did you get here? After we turned the table on Jax, and... Who are you? Uh, Dad, Britt, Britt, my dad. It's Obrecht and Faison's daughter. How you know? It's not like it's great news for me either. So, since you're both safe, does that mean that this nightmare is finally over? That my father's been caught? Not quite. Bobby and my dad seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, who would have thought they'd reconnect after all these years? Yeah. And at the nurse's ball, which we have Sabrina to thank. That's true. <laughs> you have a lot to be thankful for where your bride is concerned, Drake Jr. Well, I know it. Oh, well, that sounded almost humble. <laughs> almost. <laughs> but I do have to admit, you look good in that tux. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he? Mm. What are you doing here? I was invited. By whom? The uh, maid of honor. Everything is going to be just fine. Ellie is one of the most reliable people we know. I'm sure she'll get here with that blue bracelet with plenty of time to spare. She seemed pretty gracious about the whole invitation mix-up. There was a mix-up? See? The ballot has already started. Which is why we can think only good and happy thoughts. Now what do you say we get the bride dressed and down the aisle? <gasps> I don't think you could get any cuter at all. <laughs> oh, Sabrina, your hair and your makeup, you look just absolutely lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you still look lovely in your dress. Oh, oh, right. Well, I will uh, leave you to that. There's just one uh, teeny tiny little thing that I need. I thought you might. That's why I brought you a copy of the script. So in case you go up, you now you can officiate away. Oh, right. Well, thank you. That's very thoughtful of you, but, um, uh, And I have copies, in case you lose those, so no problem. Um, actually, there is a problem. I can't do it. I can't marry you and Patrick. So, how are the nerves? Nothing I can't handle. Good. I'm glad that you're not letting that nonsense about Robin get to you. What do you mean? Sabrina's ex. He was pushing some story about having seen Robin haunting the lab. Yeah. Some fools just don't know when to quit. Faison's in Luke's custody, and now they're both missing. Could my mother be involved? Mm -mm. Duke just escorted her off the island. Well, we need Nicholas. He can help us search the tunnels. And What? What aren't you telling me? We think that somehow Faison has Nicholas. Felix invited you here to Sabrina and Patrick's wedding. I don't believe it. Oh, believe it. Since when is Felix even friendly with you? Miss a day, miss a lot. Right side, please. <clears throat> you had to do the ceremony. You promised. Yes, you did. I know. Um, I, I, I did, but something has come up. Uh, uh push it back down. We told the minister to take the day off because the goddess incarnate was on tap to seal this union. 
Well, you're just going to have to find somebody else to do the deed. Um, hey, maybe Epiphany or Mac or somebody can do it. I doubt either of them is ordained. Well, so what? You know, all you need is a credit card and, and a cell phone and your thumbs, and you can get ordained lickety split. I can't do it. I, I, I just got to go. Good luck to everyone. Wait, wait, wait. What happened, Lucy? Did your license to wed expire? No. Worse. I cannot do this ceremony because I don't know if I even believe in marriage anymore. Say what? Why? Because my marriage is over. Don't worry. Carlos's mind games are not going to stop me from marrying Sabrina. Good. Because you and Sabrina have come too far to let some Carlos come lately gum up the works. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, I don't know about that. You know your problem is, Nurse Johnson? No, Dr. Drake. What is my problem? Well, you're great at giving orders, but you're terrible at taking compliments. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Try me. Okay. After Robin died, you were with me every step of the way. You stood by me when I was... On drugs. I was going to say having a hard time cope, but <laughs> you're right. I don't know what to say. I, I can't thank you enough for seeing me through i almost lost it oh you totally lost it <laughs> but you found it again with sabrina and i am so happy for you thank you mm. all right drake jr go get it done get it done we need to find nicholas my father won't hesitate to kill him if he hasn't already all right all right, we'll find him. Mom, you'll cover more ground with me and Brett if we help you. No. Uh, you're not coming. Uh -uh. Why? I want to help find him, and I know this house. No, it is too dangerous. We already lost you once, and we fought like hell to get you back. We're not going to risk losing you again. You're going to stay here, and that's the end of it. Fine. I'll stay here. We'll come back, and we'll have Nicholas. And after... Kevin told me that he couldn't come with me to the wedding ceremony because he had, yet again, another patient emergency. I blurted out something that I couldn't take back, and then he blurted out something that he couldn't take back, and then we just blurted back and forth and blurted, blurted, blurted until there was nothing left to say, and the only thing left to do was walk out. So I did. I walked out. I'm sorry to hear that, Lucy. I am. But you and Kevin have survived bigger things than his busy schedule, so I think there's hope for you. Your marriage is made of sterner stuff. You can fix this. Oh. <sighs> what if I can't? What if I can't? I, I can't possibly just go up there in front of all our family and all our friends and extol the virtues of marriage when I can't even make mine work again. <sighs> oh, I bet that's Ellie with the bracelet. Patrick's still not picking up. Oh my God, forget calling him. Just go to Patrick now. I can't do that. He's about to marry Sabrina. Britt, if something happened to Nicholas while I was racing off to crash I Patrick's wedding, I can't take care of Nicholas. I'm a doctor, remember? But he rescued me. I owe Nicholas. Oh, come on. But now I know why my mother gets so furious with virtuous people. I mean, maybe there's still a chance Patrick will take my advice and call it off. Wait, what? It's so painfully obvious that he has reservations about this marriage. Well, why, why would he have reservations? Because he's still hung up on you. Really? I mean, what? How do you know that for sure? I ran into Patrick a little while ago in the lab and I was picking up the cure. You did today? Yeah. But it's his wedding day. <laughs> what was he doing in the lab? Looking for you.